Uh, 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 uh. All right. What's up, breathing people? Welcome back to another daily breaths. So I hope you are doing well today. We're going to start with 30 seconds of silence. Set timer for 30 seconds. This is just giving you an opportunity to be still and just slow down. All right. Oh. So just a reminder, the reason we slow down is because this world tells you to hustle, this world tells you to grind, and Jesus told you a different way. And he taught a different way, and he showed a different way. He got a way to be with God and to rest. So that's why we do it. Uh, today we're going to be in Luke 15, 20 through 32. Um, but while he, the younger brother, was still a long way off. His father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The father said to his servants, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. Meanwhile, the older son was in the field, and when he came near the house, he heard the music and dancing, so he called one of the servants and asked him, What's going on? Your brother has come home, he replied, and your father has killed the fattened calf because he has him back safe and sound. The older brother became angry and refused to go in, so his father went out and pleaded with him, but he answered his father, Look, for all these years, I've been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet, you never gave me a young goat so that I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours, who has squandered your property with prostitutes, comes home, you kill the fatted calf for him. My son, the father said, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and alive again. He was lost and is now found. Woo. In the prodigal son, we learn that what, uh, whenever we wander from the love of the father, we are lost. We see this in the younger son who rebelled against his father and ran away from home. We also see it in the elder brother who remained obedient to the father, but was equally lost. He too had wandered from the love of the father as Henry Nouwen has written, the, loss, the lostness of the elder son is much harder to identify. After all, he did all the right things. He was obedient, dutiful, law-abiding, and hardworking. Outwardly, the elder son was faultless. But when confronted by his father's joy at the return of his younger brother, a dark power erupts in him and boils to the surface. There are many elder sons and elder daughters who are lost while still at home. And it is, it, it is this lostness, characterized by judgment and condemnation, anger and resentment, bitterness and jealousy, that this so precarious and damaging, that this is so precarious and damaging to the human heart. There is so much frozen anger among the people who are concerned about avoiding sin. I recognize the elder son in me. Often I catch myself complaining about little rejections, little impoliteness, little negligences. Time and again I discover within me that murmuring, whining, grumbling, lamenting, and griping that go on and on, even against my will. Jesus' parable of the prodigal son reminds us how quickly and easily we can become the elder brother. Bitter, judgmental, grumbling, jealous, and proud. It also offers one of the most vivid pictures in Scripture of the love of God and the love that invites us to turn to Him over and over again, all day and every day. So the question for today is, in what areas of your life may you, your pursuit of getting things done or doing right things be more important than you seeking a loving relationship with God and with others? I actually have Rembrandt's painting 
of the prodigal son hanging in my dining room that someone, uh, a mentor of mine, gifted to me. And it's, it's very special to me. Uh, if you want to go deeper on this subject, I would suggest looking at that painting and looking at some of the writings behind that painting. It's really good. It's really impactful. Um, yeah. All right. I love you all. I hope you have a great day.